It's on. Hi. Welcome to Metal Rules TV. <laughs> the other crowd needs to play crowd. I'm Joey from Landmine. I'm Jeff Rappaport. And I happen to be Matt Gibbons. All right. So in the news, is it grim or is it ice grim? I think is it grim, maybe. Is grim. I would say it oh, is, is grim. grim. It is grim. It is grim. Wait, you know, what did I say? I said ice grim, you said, or is it, it grim? And he said grim. is grim. That's how I was saying last time. I was, I was like, that's grim. definitely is grim. Like, it's not ease. Is grim. Is grim. How do Dutch people talk? Because they're from. They have to wear wooden shoes. When yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and put a finger in a dice. Yes. <laughs> so I imagine annoyed. Yeah. Whatever they do is So annoyed. Rosie O'Donnell must be there at all times. Yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> to put the finger in the dike. Exactly. Zinga! Whoa, because, because the, the, the last, you know, they wouldn't be happy if some dude's fingers were in there because right. it's a dike. Yeah. I'm like, what are you, you know? Especially so, her, the singer for this band. Like, what are you doing, breeder? Stop that. Yes, so. exactly. So uh, this is a... They're, they call themselves a thrash metal band, but I thought they were more death metal to me. Oh, dude, their drummer was amazing. Drummer was amazing. I thought it was... Uh, great fills, great energy. Black and thrash is what I called it. Is that what you wrote? With some melodic touches. What did I you write? It. What did you call what, what What genre would you say that is? I didn't find it just Boy, strictly uh, thrash. Uh, so I said black and thrash, Jeff. I don't know. There's like <laughs> such a new level of thrash these days where like thrash covered like a certain genre back in the day. Now it's just, it's okay, if you're not grinding, it's not death metal. They were right. very heavy. You know, but they're real heavy. Yeah, they're, they're great. They're, they're, yeah. I really liked them a lot. They had, they had a lot of nice melody to it too. Yeah. Like not like flower foo-foo kind of melody, but you know. No, they were definitely one of my favorite bands that we that yes. we that we talked about. It was about. a good way to start. Oh yeah, the band. oh easy. Oh yeah, because yeah. she's candled everything. Bassist, just and I got some stuff she can handle. Good. So whoa, yeah. oh, they've been out forever. She looks kind of weathered. I don't know if you ever seen any right. pictures like of her. I looked like through like a like the I don't know like gallery, and she's looking a little weathered. She got some mileage. That's yeah. all right. I still love you. Is I didn't, I didn't see that. I, I, I saw a recent clip. She looked pretty good. Oh, yeah. She, oh, it's good. Trust me. I wouldn't she kick like around and beat crackers. She beat your ass, though, too. Oh, yeah. She, yeah. yeah. Especially but, with the bass fingers. But she was out there. She was handling her shit, man. She's out there growling. Yeah. She's fucking plucking the bass. Like, yeah. She was all like, she was all in it. I thought that this was a, I wrote that, I thought this was a nice rebuke to people that say chicks can't do metal. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. They're like, oh, well, Lacuna Goyle, that's for, you know, gay kids or whatever. Right. No. That, that was, she was like, she was not trying to be like, I'm a chick, look at how hot I am. She was... Yeah, she was out there. She was... Yeah, absolutely. Not. Absolutely. I was she, very impressed. She's probably going to look at you and go, fuck yeah, yeah fuck yeah, I'm weathered, bitch. Yeah. yeah. She's like, a like talk like Phil Anselmo. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, so. a, like a Klingon <laughs> chick. Like, she want to fight you first. Man. Did you find any videos of her talking? Because that would have been a thing. No. No, I really... I And I saw interviews and I went right past them. Oh. I just <laughs> kept looking for... Got like, other stuff. Yeah, well, I, you give us 15 stories. We don't have time for interviews. Yeah. We got to go... I was there was totally, a lot. There was so many. I was totally excited by her, though. I mean, yeah. like, I like by, by the band. I mean, I, yeah, the band, I like the band a lot. The band was, was great. Really good. I really good. Yeah. We so, apologize if we pronounced it wrong, but it's good. <laughs> Ease Greer. Yeah, you, you tell us. And, and also, like I said, when we like a band, mm -hmm. you go place on the couch. Mm -hmm. If you come happen to be around America, Absolutely. come visit us and sit on the couch with us. If you don't mind us smelling it afterward. Yes, that's going to happen. I, I call and, and he's going to smell the dudes. Yes, afterwards. I want to. And during, and during. I also wrote that I, 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 want, I dubbed this. I dubbed it boner metal. Really? <laughs> Only because she was kind of a hot chick, but because the metal itself was good. So yeah. all around, it yeah. Was boner. Like you Absolutely. wouldn't call like if they have a hot chick, but they're not that good. It wouldn't be boner metal. You know? Right. I, yeah. But it has to fulfill both requirements to be boner. Metal. Absolutely. Oh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah. Boner metal. So this is what I wrote it. I said, uh, I find it more death metal than thrash, but it's still thrashes. Yeah. I mean, it has that thrashing energy, but it's actually more like death metal. <laughs> yeah, I wrote okay. kind of like right. Arch Enemy meets Witch Ray. Ooh, it's absolutely. Really good. Yeah, like absolutely. Oh, that's that good. Called it. Yeah. yeah. Totally good. Yeah. yeah. Called it. Because called she sort of sounded like Angela in a way. I mean, I, I hate Similar to give it, but, she, but it had more like the thrashy Witch Ray sound, too. But she ain't just singing, she is doing it all. Both bands have the same bass player. Is that coincidence? Charlie, they? Charlie D'Angelo. Is he in that band? I didn't even know. Uh, he might not be in both still, but he yeah, he, for a long time. I thought the, the video I saw, she was playing bass. No, I'm talking about Arch Enemy and uh, Witchery. Oh, I was going to say. Really? <laughs> that's why I was confused. I didn't remember sitting. That's why, I, yeah, you threw me off on that. But I understand your point. Yeah. We're, we're behind Solid you on another point. story. Okay. Solid point. Yeah, so I guess that for. Where's my phone? That's nice. For, uh, it's all positive. Yeah, absolutely Everybody positive. Likes Six it. thumbs up on Yeah. This. So, so yeah, it. where you want to click the thumbs is your business, is a grim chick. So, 
So they're they're going to continue with uh, listenable records and. Uh, it's a great label. They got they're going to start stuff. recording in April, and it should be out in September two thousand thirteen. Yes, and Laurent from listenable that I thought we were I thought we were bros, dude, but. I've been pimping you over and over again. I've been pimping your label. I haven't heard one thanks yet. Mm -hmm. Come on. I just sold something on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> it might have been a listenable records release. Yeah. Actually, it wouldn't be because I wouldn't sell them because I love the label. There you go. So how about a little love back? Huh? Yes. A Laurent, a little love back. Show it. Is a grim. Is a grim. Is grim. Is a grim. 